Games Rob Quick Play. Today we're playing a game called Contrast. It's an indie game and it's a, what you would call a puzzle platformer. And it's really good. I really like it. I think when I looked up on reviews, it sort of gets a good 7 or 8 out of 10. And it's well deserved because it's very intriguing. It's very, it's very addictive. And especially if you like puzzles, you're going to love it. It's really well done. And um, so what it is, is you are called um, Dawn and you are an imaginary friend of a little girl called Dee Dee. So basically, you go around with Dee Dee and you basically, it's very mature themes there, but the scene through the eyes of the child. So you follow her around and she'll go to all these different areas and different scenarios and part of the story and you'll basically work out with the use of shadows, how to get out of these or complete these levels. Simple as that. Just lots of different, really well done puzzles um, in different environments. A um, bit like this one here. So you've got a, you'd have a spotlight there. And if once you've got it in the right place, you can then, as you saw there, I jumped in and out of the shadows to get across that bridge. There's some tricky puzzles in there, believe me. Um, stumped me, a couple of them stumped me for a little a little while. I had to keep messing about till I got it right. But it's one of those trial and error things. You keep on trying until you get the right thing. So here we go here. You're trying to get up to that balcony. So what you do is you move these little cardboard cutouts and you manipulate them in, into the right sort of place. Obviously looking at the shadow in the background to decide on how you would negotiate it when you jump into the shadow. So you're trying to, and I'll tell you what, it's hard it looks. There's, later on there's bits with boxes and all sorts of things and how you, how you move differently to the light is how it affects obviously the background. So it's really, really clever the way they've done it. I don't think I've played anything using the shadows in this way, or there might be in the odd mini game or something like that, but nothing that's doing, done the whole game using this idea. It's very original and it's done, and they've done it really well, as I say, wrapped up in a nice little world that's really enjoyable to uh, visually looks good and makes you want to explore as well. I do like that when you feel the need, you know, you want to explore an area. Um, and in this, by exploring the area further, you find these uh, balls of light, which um, you don't have to collect, but you really do need them um, in certain places because they go into this sort of um, sort of contraption uh, there's little gadget things and you put the balls of light into them if you haven't got enough of them it won't let you do that particular thing so you do need to collect I wouldn't say you need to collect every single one but it makes your life easier if you do when you see them well this bit's genius so having like a little bit of a conversation going on here you're literally just jumping on top of them which you can if you slip you do die there is, you know you will you will die but only put you a little bit back um it won't put you far back and you'll just have to do it again so it's not the end of the world it's just you know you just keep doing it till you get it right same as most games but um i just think they've got the controls right it looks good it's you just you can tell there's a lot of um love gone into this game so this particular level here is where I actually am now. I haven't got any further than this actual um, level, but um, it's all done in a um, circus. And um, you're trying to repair uh, three different attractions. And when you've done that, I suppose it will complete that level. Um, I've done a couple, um, but this one here, quite like this. You go into this little story mode um, and you are in like a silhouette storybook. Which is quite cool. See, this minute I've got a sort of mechanical spider chasing me. Um, none of these are too tough, but they the the odd little it will catch you out here and there. That's what I like about it. You will get some puzzles as well in this where it will it like mind bending. You know they're almost what are they wanting me to do? And then suddenly it'll click, start to click. If you're that way inclined with puzzles like I am, I really like puzzle games. Um, not too frustrating, but this is, this is these are done well. You will start to figure it out all of a sudden. So there you go. I've, I've just broke the webs and the stones killed the uh, spider. There you go. Here's to get another one of those little balls of light. Um, so I'm going to time it. There you go. As he jumps down, get on his head. There you go. Another one of the little balls of light. So um, 
yeah some really nice bits in this as you can see it is a it's a very visual game they have made the most of these shadows and um this particular level i think you've got to unattach the balloon free the balloon which um i do on this bit here i think that's as far as i've got really but um i just i just love it i tell you if you haven't played this if you've got the game pass um i would say this is a definite play it as soon as possible because it's really good it's very very original and nice looking game so here's another one i'm trying to get one in balls of light again so there you go you just time it right and up you go um and uh what a great game so yeah i'll give that a double thumbs up absolutely great and i'll see you on the next one i'll see you later it's games rob